My name is Rick Renner, and today is May 17th, and we're looking at signs of the last days, and today we will specifically look at widespread violence. That's what the Holy Spirit prophesied would take place in the very end of the age. And our verse today is 2 Timothy 3, verse 4, where the Holy Spirit's men will be heady and high-minded. And I want to read to you directly from Sparkling Gems number 2 about what these words mean. The word heady depicts a people so wholly given to violence that they become known for their violent, reckless behavior and hot-headed emotional intemperance that exhibits a lack of self-control. Based on this word, the Holy Spirit was prophesying that a time would come when members of society in general would fully embrace violence and lose their ability to control their templars. I'm thinking about road rage as I'm reading this. Since the Holy Spirit chose this word to describe a last day's generation, I want to ask you, is this current generation known for violence and intemperance? Was the Holy Spirit correct to forecast that violence in the last days would be more widespread than any other time in human history? That is exactly what the Holy Spirit was prophesying. But there's good news because the Holy Spirit also said they'll be high-minded. The word high-minded is the Greek word tifuo, and the word tufuo means to be bloated or to be inflated, but it's where we get the word for a typhoon. So to the natural eyes, like a typhoon, it may appear that there are so many evil people, reckless people, society is spinning out of control, and when we look at it on the horizon, it may look like a typhoon that is coming in. And of course, when a typhoon comes in, it brings danger, it brings damage, it brings destruction. But the good news is, typhoons are temporary, they never last, they always pass. And the verse could be expanded to mean this. People will be preoccupied with and known for their violent behavior, but all of this will pass. Just as a storm appears on the horizon and brings destruction with it, these violent winds in society will not last long. As threatening as it may look, it will pass just as surely as storms always pass. So if you're discouraged by what you see, just remember the ungodly are always temporary and the righteous are always permanent and eternal. Which side are you on? And that's what I want you to think about today.